Yeah, we still got some dry periods through at least the first part of the weekend, but things soon change for late Saturday through Monday, and that's the rain that does come in. Looks like we'll have more rain maybe in the middle of next week too, but maybe not as much as what we saw this past week. And the temperatures definitely will change. We'll have warm conditions through tomorrow, then cooler, especially towards Sunday, and all next week looks a little bit like upper 70s, low 80s. Kind of more what we should be in the first week of September. We're tracking that system out to the west. It's going to begin to pull to the east overall today. We'll have cloud cover ahead of it, maybe a few showers, storms. You can see that pushing through Iowa. Really, it comes into factor once we get towards tomorrow. Once again, we could see a few showers even tomorrow before it lifts north, but then it's really Saturday evening and Saturday night as that first wave comes across and lifts north across the area, followed by the low. So that's what we're tracking. Now, there's a lot of different solutions on where this low will track. This kind of gives you an idea where it might track through the area where you might see some breaks actually come Saturday as Sunday. You can see we'll have a line come through probably early Sunday. Sunday is directly kind of overhead Head, so we could see off and on showers, maybe not an all day rain. Just depends on where you are in relevance to this, where this low is, and that continues to shove eastward. More of the precipitation looks like, at least right now, for the foreseeable, has come down for most of the area. Still a good half inch to maybe an inch and a half for most of the areas, but notice the shift from yesterday has went more to the southeast part of Wisconsin for the heavier rain amounts. And this still could be adjusted too, depending on how things play out. That's why a sex of rain, we looked at to the west Saturday through Sunday, and then as we go through Sunday into Monday, it shifts more to the east. Still, we could have some heavier rainfall, especially in the thunderstorms. It all depends on the track of this low and where you're at. The one thing that we do have looked at right now is the severe weather threat is still remaining to the south, just where the low is. So right now, that's tomorrow. The storms there developing may lift up towards the area towards the evening, but should be severe. And then through Sunday, really the shift is ahead of the low into southeast Wisconsin, northeast Illinois. So once again, the severe threat looks minimum, but this could change. It just depends on where that low tracks right now. And right now it places more of it to the south. If it happens to go further north and we get more sun, we might see stronger storms come Sunday. None of that today, really. Just a few showers left over from down that will develop into Iowa. Most areas will stay dry, really, with that light northeast wind. We'll get up to the upper 80s this afternoon. Once again, tonight, we'll have a little bit of a wave approach maybe to Minneapolis and those areas to spark off a shower or storm. That could impact maybe early tomorrow morning. But once we get past that, most of the day tomorrow should be fairly dry. Once again, warm. The winds will start picking up the southeast. And here comes the first couple waves, Saturday late evening and then overnight. That's what we'll be looking for, more showers and thunderstorms coming across the area. Overall, you look at the forecast right now. As you can see, we're looking at upper 80s, and then we get back down to the low 80s with those rain chances coming in Saturday through Sunday night.